हाई फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक तो मेरी जो इतनी बड़ी स्माइल है उससे आपको अगर समझ नहीं आया तो मैं बता देती हूँ आज का वीडियो है खाने के ऊपर और ऐसे नहीं दूसरे खाने नहीं इंडियन खाने के ऊपर है तो मैं तो इंडियन खाना बहुत मिस करती हूँ यहाँ पर और आप कहोगे क्यों भाई आपको यहाँ पे रेस्टोरेंट्स नहीं है इंडियन रेस्टोरेंट्स हैं फ्रेंड्स पर जो वहां इंडिया का खाना है ना उस टाइप का टेस्ट यहाँ नहीं होता है तो चाहे कुछ भी कर लो चाहे कुछ भी बोल लो वो वो मजा नहीं है पर इस वीडियो में देख के हम थोड़ा खुश हो जाएंगे कुछ पुरानी यादें भी ताजा हो जाएंगी और कुछ दिल में भी इतनी बेचैन बेचैनी हो जाएगी कि भाई जल्दी किसी तरह से इंडिया का कोई ट्रिप मारे तो फ्रेंड्स आज के वीडियो का जो टाइटल है ना वो है एक्सॉटिक इंडियन स्ट्रीट फूड टूर इन दिल्ली और बापरे तो दिल्ली में ही है और हम दिल्ली के हैं वहां मजा आ गया तो देखते हैं इसमें से हमने किस क्या क्या किया है और नहीं किया है तो हमको वहां जाना है पक्का तो फिर से मैं टाइटल पढ़ देती हूँ मैं एक्साइटेड हो गई बीच में रुक गई तो टाइटल है एक्सॉटिक इंडियन स्ट्रीट फूड टूर इन डेली इंडिया क्रेजी फ्लेमिंग फायर पान ये मैंने सुना है कोई फायर पान के बारे में पर कभी ना देखा है ऋषि को जब इंडिया आएंगे ना ऋषि को जरूर खिलाना है अगर कुछ हुआ नहीं ना इसको खा के पहले इसको खिलाया खिलाऊंगी अगर कुछ हुआ नहीं तो फिर मैं भी ट्राई करूंगी तो गिनी पे किया होगा ठीक है ना तो अच्छा चलो एक्साइटमेंट पहले हो गई फिर वीडियो देखने से पहले क्या करे जब इंडिया की बात और वो भी दिल्ली की तो भाई मेरा तो <laughs> चलो फ्रेंड्स तो स्टार्ट करते हैं वीडियो पर यस फ्रेंड्स उससे पहले अगर आप इस चैनल पर नए हो और आपने अभी तक सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो सबसे पहले वो नीचे सब्सक्राइब का बटन है ना उसको क्लिक कर लो साथ में जो बेल आइकन है उसको भी क्लिक कर लो ताकि आपको हमारे साथ ऐसे मजेदार वीडियोस देखने का नोटिफिकेशन मिल जाए और वीडियो देखने के बाद अगर पसंद आए प्लीज लाइक जरूर करना दिल्ली की शान की बात है तो उसके लिए लाइक करना बनता है दिल्ली जो है ना हमारी दिल की है इसलिए तो लाइक करना और शेयर करना ये वीडियो अपने फ्रेंड्स और फैमिली के साथ तो चलो फ्रेंड्स स्टार्ट करते हैं आज का ये वीडियो I have traveled all over Asia, digging up some of the world's most unique and what some might call weird food. I tried worm pancakes in Vietnam. Oh. Put the worms on top. Oh, oh, what? Sheep. I tried fire ants in Cambodia. Super <laughs> sour taste. I even tried a little bit of Kentucky Fried Snake in China. If you're gonna get snake, do it right. Get a good snake because yeah. then you can really bite into it. But here in India, we had to dig even deeper. What some call weird, I call extreme food innovation. Today's innovators include this shop, the first to sell noodle ice cream in oh, India. Paluda. We'll find noodle out why this crazy <laughs> man is putting his hand in boiling hot oil, and we'll see if I survive my bout with New yeah, Delhi's man. infamous fire pond. Have you done this before? No, it's very first time. Oh, you haven't done it either. No. <laughs> Our next location, Frank's. Oh my God, the street is clear. Hi. So our next location is a very unique food right here, made at this stall, invented at this stall that we're going to right now. For over 60 years, this yeah, small yeah, shop please. has been cranking out the goods. A sweet, refreshing confection called Robbery Falooda. This is basically a noodle ice cream. They've taken a vermicelli noodle and they mixed it with a very sweet, thick. It is like a condensed milk. You get this every day. I know when I come here. How often do you come here? Once in a year. Once, Once in a year. year. Oh, could we need? We hit the anniversary today. That's amazing. What's your favorite part? Why do you like this? I used to take uh, this dish uh, right from my childhood. It's from 1956. So when you were a child, you were coming here to eat this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy. 
Enjoy. Happy, happy anniversary, you two. The dessert starts with a handful of vermicelli noodles. Then the robbery, made by simmering milk long enough for it to become dense and pink in color. Then sugar, spices, and nuts are added to give it flavor. Next, a generous dollop of honey, and it finishes off with a bit of ice on top. One glass of noodle ice cream, please. Thank you, sir. Wow, look at this. It's so special for a couple reasons. One, they've been doing this since 1956, and this shop is the epicenter, the originator of this dish. I mean, who would have thought one day someone was like, hey, I'm mixing condensed milk and noodles, and then it caught on. Like, this is all over the place in Delhi, but we came right to the source. As that man said, it's his anniversary today, and today is the start of my anniversary with this drink. So, okay. picture together, I guess. So we got ice, we got honey, we got a little bit of finger spice in there. It all just makes it taste nice. Let's try it out. Oh, that is a complex flavor profile. It's sweet, it's chilled, it's icy. And it's really it's fruity too. The drink almost has like a spice to it. They put in all these dried fruits into the condensed milk. Oh, I found an almond. There's some almonds, there's some nuts in here too. It's a nice refreshing treat for the nice man I just met here. It reminds him of his childhood and it also reminds me of his childhood. So really great memories here today. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, but yeah, but yeah, mm, thank you. Oh, he needs his glass back. Uh, Old Delhi is a chaotic thrill ride. A swarm of stimulation, people on the go, plenty of food. And this guy too, guys, come on. I found an oxen, they have an ox drawn cart. Right here, okay, I gotta be a little careful. Hi, buddy. They have an ox drawn cart right here. Look at this guy. His horns are painted up like the flag of India. Orange, white, green. Just uh, just an ox on the street pulling a cart. That's amazing. Our next mission, sucking goat bones. It'll make sense in a second. We are in the busiest part of Old Delhi right now. The horns are going nonstop. If you're in someone's way, it's kind of pushing you to the side. That's all right. No big deal. Hi, how you doing? Hey, all right, we're still smiling though, that's good. So we're going to this legendary restaurant up in front of us, and this is where people might eat after they go to the mosque here, one of the biggest mosques in India, and certainly the biggest in Delhi. Right up here, there's a place serving halal food. We're gonna order some of their famous biryani. Oh my God, it's like overwhelmingly loud out here. I've ordered up some mutton biryani and nali nihari, slow cooked goat that's become so tender you can suck out the bone marrow. It is crazy busy outside. You can probably still hear the horns from here, but it is packed. The guy is like, look, you can shoot. You got 15 minutes and get out. I got people to serve. We get it. So we're here for a quick bite. It's my first time having this mutton biryani. And I'm gonna try just a big spoonful of that here. It's really good. It's full of spices and flavor. There's some more coming through. Them. They have this dish right here. And there's something special in the bone. But first, we're going to eat some of this meat. I don't know the best way to approach this. I can just like pull off the meat As and put it into are. this bread. That to me seems pretty genius. And I don't know if anyone's thought of that before me. I mean, look at that nice tender goat meat. Let's try it out. That's just some of the most delicious meat I've had, period. Not just that it's goat. I mean, that's ridiculous. Crazy, oily, spicy, just doused in seasoning and spices. The real reason I wanted to get this is because in this bone, you're supposed to be able to suck out the bone marrow. And I'm going to try to do that now. There's nothing. I, I went for it, I sucked the bone, and uh, nothing came out. No. What? No. I was like feeling all down and sad and this guy just did like a harukin and, and got it out like right there you can see in the very tip there's some tendon peeking out right there do you see it let's try it out no I got it Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's really yummy. It's so little, but it's so delicious. Rich, fatty, it's like a little grizzly still. It's completely soaked up all those seasonings. Well, good enough. Good enough. One more time will risk my mouth to scorching fire. Various types of 
Pond have been around forever, but Fire Pond is a fairly recent invention, and we're going right to the source. I am with Option Pond, and she is going to show me Fire Pond. Now, what is Pond by itself? Pond is basically a beetle leaf, and there are a lot of uh, paste, and there are spices, and it's rolled. People eat it because it helps in digestion, as well as people eat after the meals. They also eat as a dessert. It's like a mouth fresh, mouth freshener. And someone's going to put this food into my mouth right. for me. Yeah. Now, I like the idea of someone feeding me. I don't know if I like the idea of someone feeding me food that's on fire, but that's what's going to happen next. <laughs> we do a pound of flavored pond, chocolate, nut chocolate, fruit and nut, choco moco. They have all these different varieties here. Um, they're going to do the fire. Do you have uh, insurance? No. Have you done this before? No, no it's the very first time. Oh, you haven't done it either? No. Oh, wait, you're going to go first. She would like one fire pond. Yeah, one fire pond. Oh, are you ready for this? You got this. You got this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you okay? Let's, let's choose the camera. Are you alright? Is it burn? Can you just tell us like very elaborately what your feelings are right now? Oh, your mouth is pretty full, right? While she's chewing, I order up my own fire pond. Starting with a beetle leaf, then they create a breath freshening paste from acacia extract. Then this clump of sweet rose petal preserves, a bit of chipped ice, then a mystery powder that they set on fire. Top it off with some syrup and we're ready to go. He's lighting it on fire. Oh, jeepers. Oh, my heart's beating faster. Flames are bigger. We just swallow flames. Ah! Oh, my God! Something happened! Something happened! Something happened! Something happened! Something happened! It's a really strong flavor. You got that smoky flavor? That burnt? Mm-hmm. It is so minty. Yeah. <laughs> Like Maybe. intensely minty. <laughs> that is like husbands who are smoking, who are trying to hide it from their wives. They probably eat this before this, they yeah, go home. Yeah, they do. They do because it actually uh, removes the fragrance of the cigarette. <laughs> don't back up! Don't back up! <laughs> the fire was so close to my face, I felt it. I, f I felt it. <laughs> it was singeing my eyebrows. Hold on, before this, I had rich, thick eyebrows. Where did they go? It was scary. <laughs> it was scary, right? Yeah, and there was like Ooh, smoke and flavor. Smoke smoke and, and, smoke and, and then you get the flavors of the pond simultaneously, slowly, slowly. You want more? Yeah, let's try the ice. We have some fire, we're scorching, we're gonna cool down with some ice. Ice pond starts with this type of paste and rose paste. Then they twist it into a cone shape, perfect for holding the ice. Once it's topped with ice, they dump in a bit more syrup, close it up, and shove it in. It looks like it must taste good, right? One, two, three. I can't sit down here. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> 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 Can you give it to me? He's got the sun fire. It's cold. My mouth is numb. That one is good. I like that one a lot more. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like full of chunky shaved ice, and then I just tasted Hershey's strawberry syrup, and then that thick beetle leaf, which is kind of minty in itself. That was a good combination with the ice. I know, I got a brain freeze. Thank you so much for trying this with me. I'm the nice Whether you're trying to hide your smoking habit from your wife, or you just want to take on some extreme eats, Firepon is a must-try experience. Next up, this guy tries to deep fry his own hand. Dish restaurant serves tandoori chicken, tandoori fish, and fried fish. But it's how the owner's father interacted with patrons that makes it so special. We are at the legendary Ganesh restaurant. I'm with the owner, Deepak, and thank you so much for having me today. What is so special about your restaurant? It's been so long we are serving the same dish from ages. It's been 60 years running the same restaurant. Wow. So it was started by my grandfather, then my father, now it's the third generation serving. The uniqueness was that my father used to fry fish, putting his hands into the deep oil, saying wow. that the oil is not hot enough for the fish. When we used to measure it, it used to be more than 200 degrees hot. But yeah. he used to put whole of his hand into the hot oil. That's right. As people would impatiently crowd around waiting for their fish, Deepak's father would insist that the fish needs time to cook by sticking his own hand in the fryer. Right here, we have these two massive ovens. Is this yeah, a tandoor? Yeah. yeah. This is the boneless fish. 
and uh, one we have with bone. The main uniqueness is we don't put so much of spices. We actually let our customers enjoy the flavor of meat mm. rather than the spices. And over here they're making bread. What is this kind of bread called? We call it tandoori roti. And he uses like a little pillow to put it yeah, on. Yeah, there. yeah. I like it. It's very gentle. You want to try? It's very sweet. Yeah. I'll slap a roti in there. Now, now you'll have to just go, go okay. a little. Yeah. Just be confident, right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you knew that was going to happen. That's like a thousand, a thousand degrees in there. Yes. Okay. Try that too. Yes. Alright, alright. Here we go. Do you have any hair on your hands? Hold on. Do you have any hair? No, all gone. Yeah, exactly. Crazy hot. I never would have guessed. Like, obviously, it's hot. It's cooking the bread. Yeah. I like that. Legitimately burned my hands. My father would always put his hand in. Oh, yeah. Why? Is this style? You get one? Oh, okay. Can you stand out a little bit? I need a little bit of style for my show. Uh, should I? No, no I'll, I'll let him do it. This place happens to be slamming right now because starting tomorrow, there's a 10-day religious holiday of the Hindi people where they can't eat meat. And so everyone's coming tonight to get their meat on before it's like game over for the meat. Oh God, oh my God. <laughs> Carrying on the tradition. Wow, like, it's so historical. Look at all these people recording it. It's not even just me this time. My father basically used to show that the oil is not hot. So it will take, take time to cook, but it is actually hot. It takes time to cook, guys. You gotta be patient. Uh, but you don't have to be patient, because we're gonna edit this, and the next thing we're gonna be doing is eating that. We've got the tandoori fish here. We've got the fried fish here. It's both catfish, and then a plate here. Full of mint and coriander chutney, onions, some radish, a little bit of lemon, which we're gonna start by just sprinkling that on there. I like so. It looks heavy. It's got body to it. It's meaty. We'll put it with some chutney. Let's try it out. Whoa, that is delicious and very spicy. He's right, he doesn't add a ton of spices. It tastes very natural, but it is quite spicy. The chutney has a busload of cilantro in there. It's so much cilantro, you just gotta dip it a little bit. It's so much cilantro, it's almost burning. Mm, that's very nice. I can totally see like why this place is like a madhouse. Tons of people come in here, grabbing food. I saw someone eating on the hood of a car. Absolutely delicious, hearty fish. Next, we've got our fried fish right here. And this is the very fish he threw in by hand. He was touching the oil. He maybe even grabbed a fish or two when we weren't looking. I'm not sure. Let's try it out. Oh. That's where it's at. I've never had fish when having Indian food. It's so delicious. It does remind me of just a fish fry back home in Minnesota. Oh, fish fry. I didn't know what to compare. It's a good fried, heavy, fatty fish. A winner for sure. Besties, don't forget to check. So friends, I don't know. I feel like I'm very hungry to watch such videos. I remember that I remember India very much. And especially I've seen Delhi. I'm going to tell you this video to my dad. Let's see. Tell me which one is the place. And when we come, we will also eat the food. And when we come, we will also eat the food. और जब हम आएंगे तो हमने भी ये खाना है और मुझे पता है पापा ने कहा ना तेरे को वहाँ क्या जाना है तेरे को यहीं पे ही यार यहाँ पे भी ये मिलता है तो कहूँगी मेरे को वही जगह पे जाना है जो इस वीडियो के अंदर है ये नहीं कि आप घर के पास वाली में ले जाओ तो वहाँ चलेंगे नानू को बोलेंगे और वहाँ जाके खाएंगे you don't remember sports, but if you put in your mouth, so don't like if it's too fast or something, you could burn. I don't know if you can do anything. 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 I don't know
बार टेक्निक होती है कि जब यूं डालें तो आपको दर्द कहीं और आप ये दर्द भूल जाए <laughs> जलन की दर्द भूल गए आपको दर्द आग, आग से तो आपको डाला आपको झटका लगा आप झटके पे फोकस कर रहा ब्रेन और आग पे फोकस नहीं कर रहा फिर आप आग 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 वो तो नहीं ऑक्सीजन खत्म हो गया ना एक्टर अपने जमाने में बीस पच्चीस साल पहले की फायर पान लोग खा रहे हो ऐसा नहीं था फायर पान आइस पान चौको पान पता नहीं क्या क्या तो पान बन गए हैं इतना हाई फाई हो गए पान हम लोग तो पता क्या खाते थे पान ऋषि हमें सिर्फ तभी मौका मिलता था पान खाने का जब हम किसी की शादी पे जाते थे क्योंकि शादी के बाद जब बाहर निकलो तो वो पान वाला था वो भी अच्छी शादियों में जब हमारे टाइम में जो अच्छी मतलब अमीरों की शादी ना वो पान पान बना के भी देते थे हाँ पान बना के देते थे वहाँ खास पान वाला बैठा होता था प्रॉपर ड्रेसअप होके और फिर वो पान बना के देता था और हम हमेशा पापा बोलते थे की मीठा पान बना के देना है और हम वो पान खाते थे बस वो शादियों में ही खाया वैसे कभी नहीं no, I want, I want, I want there to be a restaurant if there's a restaurant that serves like animal brain I want to taste that शी animal brain I want to taste नहीं कोई नहीं करेगा हम कर ब्रेन नहीं है मैं ब्रेन कौन सी मूवी थी जो दिखाया था मंकी ब्रेन नो 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 डिड यू डू रेस्टोरेंट दैट सर्व ब्रेन इन इंडिया में कोई नहीं हो नो इंडिया नहीं सर्व इंडिया में नहीं नो डी यू डी सर्व नहीं हो सकता ये इंडिया में ये एक मिथ है जो इंडिया में जोन्स मूवी आई थी हैरिसन फोर्ड की इंडिया में जोन्स उसे मंकी ब्रेन था उसे लोगों को लगता है कि इंडिया में मंकी ब्रेन मिलता है मगर वो गलत था कोई ब्रेन नहीं मिलता हमारे इंडिया में अच्छा वेजिटेरियन खाना मिलता है ज्यादा से ज्यादा चिकन खा लो बस और कुछ नहीं मोस्ट एक्सोरिक वेजिटेबल आप देखो बहुत सारी चीजें खिलाएंगे तू हैरान हो जाएगा उसके बाद तू कहेगा मैंने वापस आना ही नहीं रेस्टोरेंट और मजे की बात है जिस तरह से ये खा रहा था ना मैं कह रही थी यार इतना अच्छा खाना वो चिकन को पता नहीं कैसे उसमें डाल हमारा स्टाइल अच्छा था चपाती की तरह उसको काट के फिर उसको डाल के खाना मतलब बेचार किसी को बताना चाहिए उसको कि कैसे खाना और मजे की बात है उसको सारे खाने में वेरी स्पाइसी वेरी स्पाइसी उसको बता बताना पड़ेगा कि भैया इंडिया का जो मजा है वो इसी बात का है कि खाना स्पाइसी होता है यू तुझे मेरी चाट क्यों अच्छी लगती है क्योंकि वो स्पाइसी होती है आलू की चाट बोलता नहीं अभी तो रिसेंटली बोला था मैंने मां और आलू चाट बना आलू चाट बनाओ पर हमारे खाने में जो इतना भी स्पाइसी नहीं हम बोल रहे हैं पर स्पाइसी होता है और इसका जितना भी बहाना मार ले मार ले इसको भी स्पाइसी खाना अच्छा लगता है जब खाना नहीं पसंद होगा ना तो बहाना मार देगा मिर्ची है Right. पर वैसे अगर खाना yeah. मतलब अच्छा है भूख लगी हुई है तो so, इतना स्पाइसी जो मैं नहीं खा सकती वो ये खा ले so, तो हम हैरान हो जाते हैं so, मेरे को भी हैरानी होती है कि मेरे को तो स्पाइसी लग रहा है ये कैसे खा रहा है आई एम जस्ट ईटिंग इट सो एक नंबर का एक्टर है तो so, ये जब बोले ना मुझे मिर्ची वाला नहीं चाहिए तो सब झूठ बोल रहे हैं हम इसको देख चुके हैं हम लोग बोलते हैं कई स्नैक्स होते हैं इतनी मिर्ची वाले हम कहते हैं ये कैसे खा रहा है लाइक इंडिया के और ये खा रहा होता है मजे से लाइक व्हाट नेक्स्ट टाइम दिखाएंगे मुझे याद नहीं है इतनी सारी वो आलू भुजिया भुजिया मिर्ची वाली होती है खा जाते मिर्ची वाली आलू भुजिया काफी मिर्ची वाली होती है वैसे नहीं खाई जाती है तो खांसी शुरू हो जाती है तो फ्रेंड्स वीडियो कमाल का था भूख जबरदस्त लग गई दिल्ली की बहुत जबरदस्त याद आ गई और यही होप है कि किसी तरह जल्दी से दिल्ली का एक ट्रिप मारे और ये सब यमी यमी खाना खाए और ऋषि को खिलाए वो आग वाला पान तो चलो फ्रेंड्स मिलेंगे नेक्स्ट वीडियो में जल्दी टिल देन टेक केयर एंड
बाय तो अगर आप मेरे इस चैनल पे नए हो तो जल्दी से सब्सक्राइब के बटन को हिट करो और बेल आइकन को क्लिक करो ताकि आपको मेरा जब नया वीडियो में लगाऊं आपको उसके बारे में जल्दी से पता चल जाए